let's look at question number 29 suppose p is a 3 cross 3 matrix given by this let i denote the 3 cross 3 identity matrix then p raised power 20 into i raised power minus i minus p raised power 21 equals so this is a very standard calculation based question in which what we try to do is we try to start with p square and i minus p square and try to see if this is equals to p or not and and then afterwards we'll proceed forward this is a very standard approach. Let's try and solve it. P equals to 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. I equals to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. I minus P equals to 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now let's try to calculate p square. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Dot. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now I'll use the standard multiplication method in which for the first term I calculate this, I multiply this row with this column, individual terms, and then add up. So that becomes, the first term becomes 0. The second terms become the second term becomes one, the third term becomes again zero. Similarly, for the second row, this becomes zero, one, zero, and the third row becomes zero, zero, zero. We get to see that zero, 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 one. We get to see that p square equals to p. With this, we can conclude that p raised to power 20 is also p. Similarly, you'll get that i minus p square that is again let's let's call it k square let's call this as k so you will get k square equals to k only after calculation you'll get k square equals to k and when you multiply these terms basically p raised power 20 dot k raised power 21 that again becomes p dot k so P dot k equals to 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 dot k is 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is equals to the first term becomes 0, the second term becomes 0, the third term becomes 0. So we get the null matrix over here. The third option is correct.